think they call that a dog lizard standoff. Bambi is right underneath you. That dog is worse than useless. Right, morning guys. Welcome back to the channel. And this morning I'm flying solo. Toons had to nip to the hospital for a monthly thyroid checkup. She's got a few bits and bobs to do in town. So it's just me and Bambi. She's quite happy not catching lizards. I'll leave it to that then. Uh, the other two, don't know where they are. They sometimes go to another person's farm. I think they feed them better than we do. Right, so what I'm going to do on my Todd is show you the bug feeding frenzy for the catfish. They're already fed this morning, but um, the smell is too great from all the bugs we caught last night. That's from about an hour of having the black light on. Now, because we haven't had any rain or dew during the evenings or night time, so all the grass is still wet in the uh, dry in the mornings, the big bugs that Toon likes to eat and that I used to like, I like putting on the fishing hooks, have disappeared. But there's still lots of lots of other bugs that the, the fish eat, so it's another way that we're trying to incorporate into our lifestyle, keeping the cost down because fish food, although it's what do we pay? I think 300 and something a bag, 20 kg bag, and we get through quite a lot. So we feed them twice, once in the morning, once in the evening, and then we give them a bug lunch. That's just the catfish. Okay, so what else has been going on? I was supposed to be doing the painting, painting the ceiling in the bedroom, but sod that. I'll just throw some paint up five minutes before she gets back look all sweaty. Uh, a few people have been concerned they've got a um, what would you call it some weight loss disease going on I, I, I might well have but I don't think so it's just um, well I like to call it grafter size basically you just don't sit down for too long you don't watch too much TV if any don't play any video games and uh, just don't be a lazy git uh, and eat healthy right then as you can see it's all very very quiet but by the power of bugs I'm going to try and do this one handed without throwing the gimbal in this isn't going to go well I'm just going to have to pour some of it's going to hit the rocks and then you'll see the catfish come up. So I think these are about six weeks old now, the catfish. I normally don't put them that close, but we'll get more busy in a minute. Remember these are the Malaysian catfish called Buduk. Not the Thai Buduk, although we have put some in from our other pond we grew at the previous house in here so they're slightly bigger starting to wake up now so over a thousand fish in here it's good to put the bugs in there very nutritional for them but also the one the, the, the smaller fish that miss out on the pellet there's some greedy big buggers in here um, it gives them an opportunity to to get a good feed as well so this will probably last them about 10 minutes. I'm not going to video it for that long. But they're looking good. Now normally when the when the uh, most of the bugs are eaten, a lot of them will gather on the side here and all the catfish sort of like half climb out trying to get the bugs along here.
Was it many years ago? When I was a wee nipper, I wrote to Jimmy Savile. Some of you may have heard about him or watched his show many years ago. I'll say too much about uh, what happened later on, but uh, he had a show called Jim Will Fix It, where was all, all kids had an opportunity to write in and ask if they could do this, do that, and I wrote in and asked if I could work on a salmon farm for a day. I saw on TV them feeding the fish and I've been hooked ever since. Thankfully, Jimmy never replied because he was a bit of a naughty boy to say the least. Um, but the dream still lived on. So I am living my dream. I'm also living another dream of mine and it's a, a dream I'm sure I share with many guys. I'm now officially in a FFM relationship. Now, if you're not down with the kids, you may not know what that means. It means female, female, male relationship. And I don't mean Honda. I've got a sex robot. And here she is. So, we may have to put this on an 18 rating or above. I'd like to introduce to you... Coco Chanel. How's that for a knockout? Now, I didn't have the spare five grand kicking round that these things cost, so I thought, Lee, you're a talented boy. Loads of time on your hand. Why don't you use all the materials and skill set available to you and knock one up yourself? So there she is. You're all aware that Toon is incredibly jealous, so I've had to deactivate some of her functions. At the moment, she's in Iga mode, which is the crow, so she's um, on crow duty. Uh, but depending on how long Toon is away, we may reactivate another feature or two. Right, I've got to turn the pump on. The uh, Benin Pond is uh, going down so I'm not sure if I can do this one-handed without getting electrocuted <laughs> so the, the well takes about 10-15 minutes to empty this is about seven meters deep so we'll run the blue extra strong lay flat pipe. Extra, I thought I'd get the extra strong one because then you wouldn't have any leaks. So I think it's been money well spent. Apart from that bit and about another 10 bits. It's probably misused so I've actually put water in it and uh, pressurized it. <sighs> Cracking build quality. Um, so we, we run it round, like we, we've got it on a 100 meter roll can't remember how much it was, it wasn't a lot. Uh, we're using the solar power to, to pump it, of course. Um, oh, I think in the dry season, we might only be able to pump out once, maybe twice a day, but at the moment, it fills up within about 20 minutes. So we overcharged or overfilled the ponds when we got the, the big rains. The water's steadily dropping and the catfish pond, this one, and the snakehead and climbing perch pond, we don't top those up, so they're dropping a little bit quicker. We reckon they'll drop about another meter over this between now and uh, end of the dry season. But as soon as you get heavy rainfall, they can come up in a meter, no problem, a meter in the night. That's why we've gone very, very high around the sides. Loads of babies in this one now. I'll say loads, probably a couple of thousand. That's the pink tilapia. Oh, tab Tim, Bad Tab Tim. We've also put some, uh, what are they? Bagadee. Just, it's just a wild fish, which is one of the best ones for stinky fish. In here is the Benin, the common tilapia, and there's tens of thousands of baby fish in here. We just timed it right moving them from the other house. The water's going in now. 
that's good. This thing is the chicken poo soup tank. No shit, that really is chicken poo. And I'd like to dedicate that masterpiece to an old friend and good neighbour of ours back in the UK, who's unfortunately no longer with us. Uh, his name is Mario, the retired Italian builder and one of the best gardeners uh, as far as vegetable goes, vegetable growing goes, that I've, I've ever met in my life. And uh, his tomato plants had a, like a blue hue about them. And, uh, and I said, what's the secret? And there's loads and loads of tomatoes on And he said, it's the chicken poo. So what he used to do was collect some chicken poo off his friend, put it in a tank, and then fill it with water, and then a few days later, give it a stir up, and then mix it with the water, the rainwater that he had. Um, so we copied it, because I had a little allotment next to him when we lived there back in the UK, in sunny Peterborough. And of course, we, we, we didn't stay there very long. We moved out of Peterborough a little bit, and we lived a bit more rural got a lot of chickens and ducks and we did the same thing there and then of course we've come here and we've done the same thing and since we started putting it on the coconuts and bananas and the fruit trees they've gone crazy absolutely crazy so normally give them it two or three times a week it is incredibly strong though very very rich uh, I don't, I'm not sure of the pH or anything I think you can overdo it uh, but if the, any of the plants or trees have ill effects then we'll back off on it a bit or water it down a bit more. The drawback though of course is collecting it to point blank refuses to do it. I can understand why. I don't mind because it's something for nothing. We all like something for free don't we? Um, but when you mix it, my god how can I describe it? It's a mixture of smell of three week old coffee mixed with my dad's first effort of homebrew making I think which didn't go well so that's about it uh, ah Mr Monks I have an answer for you <laughs> bless him yeah, about 18 months ago no because the channel's only 11 months quite a few months ago I think it's, uh, Bob Bob Monks asked me the size of the oh, I've left the security level on right through also. Um, the width of the posts for the house. They're five inches from uh he's also keeps nagging me. Uh, I'm, I'm ragging him because he's a blue nose Everton supporter. Um to do the cost breakdown of the house. Uh the costs are just about all in because <laughs> we're not letting anyone else do any building on our house we might get someone to do the gutters but that'll be about it uh, we got a quote which was quite high but um, we found someone else that can, uh, can do it for us regarding the quality I, I, I don't know and some of you will know that we're not happy with the uh, the final fit and the finish of the property at all but it's it's we have to be quite diplomatic and careful what we say certainly have to be careful what we write because Google Translate is uh, very very real a few things have been picked up on already so awkward situations but um, Tuna and I have done the plumbing to the best of our ability and um, just got to secure all the pipe work we've left most of it exposed like Wayne suggested so that the numerous leaks that occur can be spotted and fixed quite easily I think that's about it. So I've got some painting to do. I'm blardy blaring because I'm trying to put it off. Walking around in circles. Can't stand bloggers that do that, so I'll cut, uh, cut it short. So, guaranteed. Guarantee this. No Thai vlogger has done a bug lunch for catfish. And I'll be absolutely gobsmacked if another Thai vlogger has video. Look at that bloody bird. It's gonna dive bomb me bloody. No, you're not. Wait! Piss off! Go on! Get it, Bambi! Get it, Bambi! Coco, you better do your job, otherwise, your history. Go on, piss off.
Yeah, lower the Thai vlogger. Well, I bet there are Thai vloggers that have got that are in an FFM relationship, naughty boys. But uh, I bet they haven't got a sex robot that can scare crows away. There you go then. That's it. Me and Bambi better crack on. She's so lazy. Bye bye now for now, and uh, we'll keep on vlogging more often than we used to. So you'll get what you wish for, a few of you. So uh, you bought it on yourselves. Bye bye for now. Cheers then. Get the lizard, Bambi.